What's up, y'all? Advance here. Alright, so the election is less than two weeks away. And there's been debates. There's been several town town halls held by both candidates. Um yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to come in here and I wanted to touch on something that I mentioned on my previous video get on code you know where you know various black celebrities have been you know uh, finger wagging as Charlemagne puts it at the black community for withholding their vote you know trying to you know do what you know, what this whole election process is, is made for, and that's vetting our candidates, right? So, uh, last week, former President Obama has, well, should I call him President Obama? I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful, but no, but Barack Obama went out and he spoke about his disappointment and black men who have voiced their opinions and the fact that they're not going to vote for Kamala strictly because she's a woman. And while I understand that there are misogynist people out there that are saying it, but the majority of people that I knew that was, you know, criticizing um, Kamala uh, or questioning Kamala, I should say, and I'm one of them, were people that had legitimate questions about her policies. But lo and behold, just when you step out and you try to defend something, <laughs> there's a corner of the internet that comes out that proves you wrong. So yeah, uh, there are some conservatives, mostly black conservatives. Um, and I keep saying I'm going to do a video explaining the, the difference between a black conservative and a conservative who is black. But that's neither here nor there. All right, so listen. So there were several conserv black conservatives that came out. And, you know, they are in strong opposition against Kamala Harris. Not because of any policy that she may have or maybe she said something that that they don't like it's strictly because she's a woman and the, the words that they use or the rhetoric that they use is I will not be led by a woman I refuse to be led by a woman which I get where they I understand where they get it from because they're saying in the Bible in the Bible, um, it was said that it was spoken by God. I do not give the woman authority over man or something, something along those lines. I don't, I'm not an avid reader of the Bible. So if somebody could correct me on that, just, um, just let me know. But the, the thing is that when you get into this whole gender argument, uh, it, me personally, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Man, woman, red, blue, right, left, Democrat, Republican. I don't care who sits on the seat. Because in recent in recent years, I have come to realize that, you know, the president only has one main function, and that is to ensure capitalism continues to thrive. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, not, not getting any, any conspiracy theories or whatnot, but, you know, the fact of the matter is that when a candidate gets in office, when they do great things, they did that. When they don't do something, when they don't follow through on a promise, it's, well, they're only the president. They can't really do everything. You know, they can't just do what they want to do. They got, they're beholden to the, they're beholden to the party, to the system. So, yeah, you know, like, I don't care who sits on the seat. You know, the best thing that you can do as a person is to hold their feet to the fire. And you know what? If they're a good leader, if they're a good represent, representation, if they have a good representation, then what does it matter? But 
you know, like I understand if you have your um, you have your Christian beliefs or whatnot. First of all, church and state, um, but the thing, what it, what it really all boils down to is it's 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 politics. It's it's your team. She she's not on your team, which is fine. That's a hundred percent fine. But the argument is BS. And I'm gonna tell you why it's BS. Because the same people that's saying that they're not that they're not gonna vote for Kamala Harris because they refuse to be led by a woman are the same people that are saying they would vote for Candace Owens if she ran. Listen, it doesn't like listen, you can say, oh well that's different because why? Because she's on y'all team. She's team right wing. You know, so yeah, y'all. It would make sense for y'all to vote for her if Candace Owens won and won the, um, the Republican nomination. Y'all would vote for her in a landslide. So please miss me with this refusing to be led by a woman bullshit. Because if you're in the United States, you've been led by a woman at some point or another, whether it was a mayor, a governor, state representative. Um, your mother, and I already know somebody's gonna come in my comment section talking about well, single mothers and blah 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 blah. All right, listen, this ain't the video for that. This, this this ain't this ain't the video for red pill. But with that being said, I do have a question to everybody that said that they refuse to vote for Kamala Harris because she's a woman. What are you gonna do if she wins? I know, I know it's not a foregone conclusion, but what are you gonna do if she wins? You don't have to answer. I got the I got the answer for you. You ain't gonna do a damn thing. You gonna sit there, you gonna do, you're gonna do exactly what everybody else did that voted for Trump for the last four years. You going to do what everybody else did that voted for Hillary did for the four years before that when Trump got elected. You're going to sit there. You're going to park your ass in front of the TV. And you're going to watch Fox News. Or you're going to watch whatever news station you, you are. And you're going to watch for the slightest little nitpick to say, see, I knew she wasn't fit to be president. Yeah. If Kamala Harris wins, you're not going you're not going to do nothing but sit in front of the TV and bitch and moan about how she don't deserve to be president. <laughs> you're not you're not going you're you're not going to um you're not going to do anything. You're not going to um you're not going to pick up and move to Canada like what a lot of people said they was going to do if Trump won. You're going to sit you going to sit right here you, and you're going to complain. And I'll be, I'll say that it's probably going to be the same thing on the other side. Because it's going to be, whatever it is, all right, on CNN and MSNBC, it's going to be 24 hours of Trump if Trump wins. And on Fox News, it's going to be 24 hours of Kamala if Kamala, if Kamala wins. I'm going to say it again. If Trump wins the election, every, every move he makes is going to be on NBC, MSNBC, and um and cnn and if kamala wins every move she makes is gonna be on fox news they gonna be watching her like diddy <laughs> but all in all i'm just gonna say it it doesn't matter who wins the election um uh, this is all political theater the presidential election is political theater vote for somebody who makes sense to you based on their policies, not mudslinging. Put your comments in the comment section down below. How do you feel about this year's election? I'm looking forward to hearing these, <laughs> to seeing these comments. My name's Advance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on everything. I'm out.